This current challenge is called C++ class templates. This current challenge has a time limit to execute, and we're going to be dealing with a lot of inputs and outputs. If you check their code here, which I cannot touch, you can see that we're going to have a for loop, and then we're going to receive some inputs via these, um, this first C in statement here, and then more inputs here like this. And then we're also going to use C out. So in some of the test cases, we are going to receive thousands, if not hundreds of thousands of test cases. And that is going to cause our program to time out. So I'm going to use a bit of optimization here for the first time. I will explain to you why I have this. But before that, let's look at the instructions quickly. So what we need to do in this challenge is write a class template that we're going to call add elements. And it's going to have a function called add. And this function is supposed to return the sum of two integers or two floating point numbers. We're also going to write a template specialization for the type string. And we're going to have a function called concatenate. It's supposed to concatenate two strings together. Let's say we receive this input, the type is string, and the values are John and Doe. We are supposed to concatenate this to get one word, John Doe. If we receive two integers like this, one and two, our add function is supposed to return three. So when you begin this current challenge, you will need to write your, your solution underneath this comment here. But what I've done is I've gone up here and what I'm doing is creating a struct and I'm calling it optimizer. Now inside this optimizer here, I have a constructor and this constructor calls two functions. This first one here, IO base sync with STD IO false will disable the synchronization between the C++ and C standard streams. And this right here, C in dot tie null, this will untie C in and C out, and it will also disable automatic flashing in the process. Now you don't necessarily need to add these two lines at the same time but I think it's, it's just safe to have both of them. And here I'm simply creating an instance of my struct right here. Now, the reason why I'm doing it that way is because you cannot call functions just anywhere in your program. So what I'm doing by creating this struct and creating an instance here is that implicitly this constructor, which is a function is going to get called. And in the process, these optimizations are going to take effect. All right, so now that we have added a bit of speed to our inputs and outputs, Let's go ahead and write our class templates. So the first one here, I have the keyword templates, and then in between angle brackets, I have this class T. So T is going to be replaced by whatever we pass it when we create an instance of this class. As an example, you can see here, we are creating the object called my floats. It's an instance of our add element class. And the type here that we pass it as an argument is double. So here, double corresponds to T right here. I have a private member variable of type T. So it could be double, it could be integer, whatever. And I have a basic constructor. Now, note here that my parameter is by reference. I have this ampersand here. For the add function, it's also of type T. It's going to return A, which is of type T, and it's going to return it by reference. The argument is also going to be passed to that function by reference, and it's going to be a constant because we don't expect to ever have to change the value of that sum or the results of that addition here. So that takes care of adding up two numbers. Now let's look at our template specialization here. We don't have any data type here. We don't have class T. We are adding the data type right after the name of the class. So I also have a string member variable here. This is fixed because it's a template specialization for strings. So my member variable is also fixed as a string. Then I am assigning the value here of the parameter to my member variable. So that's for the constructor. And then I have this concatenate function here. It's going to return a string by reference. The parameter is also by reference. I could use plus equals, but I choose to use append, the append methods that strings have by default in C++. So let me submit this code right away. And we are running 11 test cases. And all of them have passed. We have managed to meet their requirements, which is highlighted here. It says the time limit for this challenge is four seconds. So our code was efficient enough. I believe I can show you one of their sample test cases. This right here is sample test case one. And you can see that we have 500,000 inputs. If we have that many objects to create and inputs to receive and outputs on the screen, then our program can easily time out if we don't have the optimizations that I showed you here not only the references, but also the disabling of synchronization and the untying of C in and C out. So that's it for this coding challenge. If you like my solution, please subscribe to my channel, turn on your notifications, and I'll catch you next time.